what is going on everybody fng moto doing a quick ride on this beautiful thursday afternoon well today i wanted to go over my corbin seat i did a, re a review on it in an earlier vlog moto vlog but the the entire vlog was all over the place i had zero direction in it uh, no idea what I was talking about. Uh, I, I bounced around from topic to topic to topic to topic, and it really wasn't very engaging. I didn't appreciate. I didn't like it. Uh, the audio was a lot better than the first time. So I'm hoping that today is the day everything gets stays on track. Yeah, hopefully. All right. So this Corbin seat, I've had it for about a couple months. I want to say I got it in December, maybe. No. I lie, I take that back. Uh, beginning of January. Mid-January is when I actually got it. I ordered it uh, beginning of January. Got it maybe mid to late January. And for those of you that are looking into getting a bobber, believe what they say about the seat being uncomfortable after, for me, it was about 20 to 30 minutes after that that stock seat was something terrible and I never really noticed it until the day I my wife and I rode out to um, Merle's Inlet Indian uh, to get our bike serviced which is about a two-hour ride uh, there in a uh, two-hour ride each way so a total of four hours if I'm not mistaken and now that's in a car it took us a little bit longer than that because I had to, well, we, of course we stopped for gas, but every time we stopped for gas, I needed a break bad because it was that uncomfortable after being on the bike for so long. And that's when I decided that a seat upgrade was definitely in the works. And a uh, funny story is my wife found her stock seat to also be uncomfortable but didn't want to say anything because she thought she didn't want to complain, suck it up is what she said. Which I thought was funny. Anyway, so... Uh, here's the big differences between this stock seat and between the stock seat and this Corbin seat. The Corbin seat is a lot wider. I believe it's about two to four inches wider than the stock seat. It's uh, the stock seat is real thin. There isn't a whole lot of padding, and the padding that is in there is not very soft. It's fairly hard. Uh, now, granted, I, the, the bike had 600 miles on it when I bought it, um, and I put. Jeez, I don't know how many miles I put on it. I'd have to check, but not a, not not too much more than that. Uh, maybe I will say I doubled it. Uh, and like I said, after the first 20 minutes, 30 minutes of a ride, that stock seat was not something you wanted to be on after that. So. The, the, the Corbin seat is a lot softer. It has more padding to it. It has more of surface area, which, hey, you know, it really does a great job of cupping your ass, especially when you get on the throttle. Like on the stock seat, you'll feel like you're gonna slip off the back end of the bike. On, on this Corbin, you don't. The, the, the pocket that's in the, that your ass gets in, is bit, it's deeper, it's wider. Um, it's much more substantial. It does a much better job of supporting you. Um, the longest ride I've been on with this Corbin seat was uh, 80 miles, uh, 41 way and 40 back. I would say a little you know, over an hour or so, and I, I could have easily gone twice as long, and I had no no pain. On the um, the stock seat, you get I had a house spots that would develop near the tailbone. Um, I had some soreness that I would get uh, right on my ass. 
uh, mostly in the tail, tailbone area and below that. And then for some reason, uh, maybe it's because I'm getting fat, I don't know, but for some reason I'd also get some, uh, like, uh, some discomfort uh, right below my ass cheeks in that area there, like upper thigh, lower ass. And after, you, you don't really know how uncomfortable that stock seat is until you try something else, whether it's a Corbin, uh, Mother Rose, or getting your, 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 your stock seat refitted at, um, I believe, this a company called Bean City Cycles. That they'll uh, refit your stock seat. Um, and, and they have various packages on their website as to, um, uh, as to the comfort level of the amount of uh, gel and foam, every foam and stuff like that they put in there. And, you know, from what I've heard, they do a really good job. Turnaround isn't all that bad. Um, but I, I, I wanted the look of that. I, I just I wanted the Corbin because I am a douchebag and decided that I wanted to spend more money. Kidding. No, I wanted the Corbin because the, the, the Corbin has a long track record and a, a long history of providing quality seats for, for bikes. So that's the reason why I went with the Corbin. Uh, I'm sure Mother Roads, if that's, the, if that's the right company, and, and Mean City Cycles, they do a, a fantastic job of, of providing uh, value to their customers. But uh, I, I just, everybody that you spoke that I spoke to that rides, uh, either they've had a Corbin or they have a Corbin, <clears throat> and they all say the same thing: it is the best seat that you're gonna buy for your bike. bag so I went out and bought one I got the natural black leather and the seating area the top it's chocolate brown with black contrast stitching and I tell you I could not be more impressed with the quality of the seat the appearance of the seat in my opinion is gorgeous uh, they nailed it as far as what I wanted the seat to look like. On their website, they have a really good emulator where you can actually build the seat and they have all the panels that you can um, <clears throat> choose from colors, for the side, the weld, studs, the no studs, you name it, they have options. And <clears throat> they will build the seat to the way you want. My seat had to be built because they didn't make it as a stock option or it wasn't an option available I had to be made and I was fine with that I got my seat uh, I believe it was three weeks total price with expedited shipping three day shipping was uh, 600 bucks so it is not a small investment by any stretch of the word it is indeed a uh, it, it is expensive and I will do it again because I'm gonna get one from my wife scout it's 60 she wants one but she waited till after I got mine. I was the guinea pig, and that's fine. But uh, the seat looks incredible. It, it, it is, it, you get what you pay for, in my opinion. Now, now mind you, I'm a new rider. This is my first bike. This is my first ever Corbin seat. I don't have much of an experience, much, much experience with anything else. So this is, uh, this is coming for you from a, perspe of a perspective from somebody who doesn't know any better. But, the, my riding position hasn't changed at all in my opinion I don't see I don't feel a difference I don't feel like I'm further forward or further up or higher up uh, so I don't feel any major differences as far as the riding position is concerned the major difference that you feel is in the comfort I'm heading into a lot of wind Whew, I hope this audio doesn't suck because <laughs> if not I'm gonna have to redo this damn fuck this damn uh, uh, this review again but that's all right. It gives me an opportunity to go out and ride. So, ooh, man, that wind is strong. Anyway, 
like I was saying, the riding the riding position has not changed at all. Uh, I'm five foot eight on a good day. Now, sir, in all seriousness, I'm five foot seven and three quarters of an inch, and I weigh just about two. I weigh about two hundred pounds between one ninety and two hundred pounds, and I um I, I don't feel a major difference. I don't feel a difference at all. It. it, it in the in the riding position i'm not pushed forward i'm not pushed back i'm not higher up I, at least i don't notice it anyway so it's not noticeable to me uh, the one area that i thought that was going to be of a concern is how wide this how wide how much wider the seat is so after i installed the seat and i'll get to the installation in a minute the uh, the, the seat is a bit wider and after looking at it and sitting on it, I thought that when I came to a stop, uh, I, I might have some pressure points on my inner thighs when I put my my, uh, my leg down to stop. But I do not. That was not a concern at all. So, for those of you that are, might be worried about that, if you're a little bit shorter, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, uh, after I put the seat on, I took it out for a ride. I stopped, and I didn't even notice the width of the seat. For some reason, uh, you notice it a little bit more when you're just sitting on the bike. Maybe it's because I wasn't sitting in the right position. Uh, that I normally would so keep that in mind so all right pros of the seats comfort night and day difference uh, the quality of the seat is in impeccable you, you get you, you get what you pay for uh, the riding position is no major change in my opinion uh, you do get some back support a little bit more than a stock seat I think and as far as uh, you know and that's that's pretty much it i mean you, you got to be realistic on what you're looking for right as far as what your expectations are when it comes to a seat uh, the seat isn't going to miraculously make you a better rider uh, it isn't going to make you a uh, faster rider uh, it's just going to provide better comfort and then with that you should feel more confident in your seat Ooh, getting blown around <laughs> well that was a whole bucket moment right there Woo! Oh, I love doing this. This is so much fun. Anyway, if that center headset doesn't shut up, I'm gonna take it off and throw it. Anyway, I gotta figure out why that's doing that. So now, as far as the cons go, and the cons are gonna be mostly installation related if not all installation related. Um, Corbin needs to redo their instructions. Now, when, you inst when you're installing the bracket for the bike, the mounting bracket, they, they tell you to install the bracket in between the frame of the motorcycle and the ground. I think that's a mistake. I don't agree with that. I think that you want the ground of your bike to be in constant contact with the frame of the bike at all times, right? So anything that is, uh, anything that you're adding that needs to use that grounding point should be on top of the ground for the bike. That, of course, that's just my opinion. That's my personal preference, but that's just the way I view it. And I say that because you always want the bike to be grounded. Then, because if you're not, if not, you're going to run into all kinds of problems when it comes to you uh, all kinds of problems with your bike electrical problems and you don't want that when you're riding down the road you don't want um, to have any kind of anything in between the background and the frame so in my opinion that should be changed and I, and I did it that way I put the, the ground of the bike underneath the frame the, the, uh, the bracket for the Corbin and when you're installing that bracket I don't know if this pertains to the scouts, to, to the uh, non-bobber. I'll find that out when I get my wife's. Uh, the, the bracket that they provide, it, 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 it doesn't line up very well. But the way around that is just make sure you keep it loose before you uh, tighten everything down. Well, obviously, but what, what I mean is... In the instructions, they tell you to, to install the back bolt and then install the the bolt that you're using into the grounding connection. 
if you do that, you're gonna you're not gonna be able to get those holes to line up. So what you need to do is install the back bolt, keep it loose, and then go ahead and install the one on the side, and then tighten them down. But don't tighten the back one down and then tighten the front one down. You know, give it a few turns on the uh, on the front bolt and then on the back bolt, front bolt, back bolt to kind of keep it even. And it should go on. Now, one issue that I ran into was when you put the seat on, the seat, the, the hole for the post doesn't appear to line up the way it should. And it's not going to. <laughs> and that threw me for a loop. I honestly thought I had to send my seat back. Because in the installation instructions, they say just you know simply push down on the, the seat and it'll slide on. That's not exactly correct. I found that in order to get the seat to lock onto that that uh, the post, you have to not only push down on it, but also give it a push forward. And you gotta put some ass into it. It ain't gonna go down just easy, right? At least this is just my experience. Um, it's not gonna go down easy. So you definitely gotta put some, some stank on it to get that seat down onto that post. And after that, it'll be on. Um, I noticed the tongue of the seat on on, uh, on mine was a bit off centered, so I don't know if maybe that had something to do with it. Uh, wasn't gonna send my seat back to Corbin uh, just for that. I made it work, and it's on. It's, you know, you can see. Well, you can't see right now, but you will. And now, <laughs> there is a caveat to that. I have not tried to take it off yet, so that should be interesting when I do. I keep telling myself, hey, I'm gonna try to pop that seat off, and then I'm like, man, I don't know if I wanna do that. Uh, another tip to uh, easing the ass pain that is the installation is removing the fuse box to get that big wire harness out the way. You get yourself a little bit more room, and you'll be able to get the wire harness and the fuse, fuse box back in without a problem after doing so. Um, don't tighten the, uh, the seat bracket on. Don't tighten the seat bracket down first um, until you get the harness back in. That way you have some wiggle room with that bracket. So I, I should have added that earlier. So let me sum it up real quick because I know I probably I talked in circles and, and I, I, it doesn't I didn't make a lot of sense. When you're installing the bracket, remove the fuse box and pull the wire harness out of the way to give you some more room. Uh, start the back bolt and then start the front bolt and keep that bracket loose then go ahead and reinstall the fuse box and that wire harness and then go ahead and tighten down the front and rear bolts but when doing so you don't want to tighten one down all the way because it, it, the, the the bracket can, you know, the, the mounting bracket will to, to cock itself so you just want to do three or four turns on each you know front and back front and back and just go back and forth between the two that way you know you got you have a um, uh, uh, your bracket's not going to be cocked and then you can get the seat down on it now when you get in the seat down like I said and this was just my experience is um you don't you're gonna have to push down and then forward it sounds weird but it worked it helped i believe there's a gonna be a gas station up here on the left and i'll pull over get into the gas station and i'll show you what the seat looks like on the bike because it's kind of hard to see it with me on it, right? <laughs> now, I would like to make an announcement. Since my, f my very first vlog and some other how-to videos that I've uploaded and uh, of that nature, we have, I have got to say that the channel, our channel, and it is our channel, because it's a place for all of us to go has grown in subscribers so we start uh, last week if I'm not mistaken I had six going into last week and I am up to twenty two as of today 
and I must say that I am eternally grateful to the 22 of you that tune into <laughs> Amateur Hour on YouTube. But I do appreciate the fact that you guys have taken the time out of your day to listen to what I have to say. And subscribe to the channel. Uh, uh -uh. Alright, this will be as good a spot as any. Man, it is nice and warm out here. I cannot wait. I got some new gloves too. I got the Ruka Air Venture gloves. Complete Cordura mesh AFT technology. Whatever the hell that is. But I'll do a review on these gloves. And I'm going to tell you what. This is my first time using them on the bike. And <laughs> I just, you can't tell. You got gloves on. These things are pretty sweet. I like them. Anyway, back to the seat. Look at that. They call this the chocolate brown, natural black leather, and black contrast stitching. And if you ask me, that is a gorgeous seat. I got some people standing around looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to my motorcycle. <laughs> but there it is. Now this is the part that I was referring to. It's a bit wider right here. And actually the seating area is also wider. The whole seat is wider, but if you could as you can tell it matches up really well with the bike. So it looks like it's meant to be there. And so Corbin did a great job designing this seat. I'm pretty sure the seat is exactly the same on the Scout 60 as it is for the bobber. Or the regular Scouts. I don't believe that. There's a major design difference, if any at all. I'm going to go back down that way. I'm not ready to call it quits yet. I haven't been out on the bike in a while. Weather's been bad and my wife isn't feeling well. Um, my my wife is my best friend and it pains me when she can't ride with me and I hate to leave her at the house and then go out for a ride which is why you don't what makes it difficult to enjoy it um, I have an easier time enjoying myself when she's at work uh, she's dealing with a um, medical condition right now that fortunately thank god non-life threatening uh it is treatable and potentially curable but the problem that she's having is uh uh with the nerve that runs in her, in in a nerve that's in her face and which makes it difficult to wear a full face helmet and she's been dealing with this for quite some time but we're making some headway so uh, she has good days and she has bad days. On her good days, she'll get out and ride. On her bad days, she obviously can't. Uh, the medication that she has to take for it makes her sick, makes her nauseous, makes her dizzy. And uh, so if she can't ride, I normally don't ride. But she'll kick me out the house, go for a ride, go for a ride. Wonderful woman. So, all right. On that note, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I appreciate everybody for watching. Do me a favor if you would. If you like the content, subscribe. Hit the notification icon to be notified. of uh, When I upload some more videos, I have some more stuff out. Uh, some more stuff ready to, to come. And please comment on the video and tell me what you liked about it, what you didn't like. Uh, areas of improvement. I'm open to all any and all suggestions. So, I appreciate it. Alright YouTube, I'm out. Keep the shiny side up. <laughs>